My name is Mark Pryor and I'm the senior manager with the Succeed and Avenue 7 programs at Howard Center. Today we're going to be talking about the Succeed program and we have been in existence for about 13 years. Uh, we are the longest running uh, post-secondary education and independent living program in the state of Vermont. We're very proud of that. Um, we are here today on our North Union Street site in Burlington, but we have two sites in the Burlington area. Uh, both of which house seven students um, for a total of 14 between the two sites. And all of our students are between the ages of 18 and 25. And they have all completed a high school experience and are looking to transition into independent living um, through a college experience. And so um, all of the individuals that are in the program qualify for our developmental services program uh, and they are typically with us in the Succeed program from two to three years uh, and so while they're with us they uh, partake in four components of our program one of which is education there's also independent living career development and campus life and with the education component, all of our students take a college level course each semester at one of the area colleges or universities. Uh, we also offer a uh, Howard Center Succeed course, which is just for our students, but is held on campus uh, at UVM. And uh, we also have the independent living, the independent living component of the program. A lot of that happens right here at the house and that could be learning anything from laundry skills to maintaining your own personal space to kitchen and cooking skills, uh, managing your own schedule, whether it be in relation to uh, making a doctor's appointment or picking up your medications on your own, how to search for an apartment after you have graduated from the program. We also have the career development component uh, where we help students obtain part-time employment uh, while they are students and learning the independent living skills to do both of those things at the same time which is a pretty complex ask um, so a lot of our students are working part-time in the community whether it be at a grocery store or a local restaurant a local bookshop um, so that has been really great and there are also times where we have individuals um, who are able to obtain internships in the Burlington area. And then lastly, we have the campus life component, which this past year has definitely been limited due to COVID. However, uh, in a, a typical year, all of our students have access to the UVM campus uh, where they can partake in some of the social gatherings and events that typically are happening up there. Um, they get student rate uh, ticket prices to go to athletic events and access to the fitness center. Um, the Davis Center up at UVM being the, the main hub for students is a place where our students spend quite a bit of time. Um, and so they are a part of that community as well as the larger Burlington community by living here. So. Okay, let's go in for a tour. So this is our kitchen at the Succeed House on North Union Street and this is where our students who live on site here cook their meals. Um, breakfast and lunch is a little bit more informal. Um, dinner times we have students rotate a cooking schedule where they actually prepare food for their housemates with the support of staff and other residents. And um, we do quite a bit of support in the kitchen to ensure kitchen safety with appliances and knives. Um, we get a very wide variety of skills when it comes to um, kitchen work. Um, some students are very, uh, very skilled and proficient with cooking, while others have um, very little experience. So a lot of learning also happens um, within their own peer group which is kind of nice. We also have, similar to uh, 
other college homes. <laughs> we have laundry and some odd spaces. Um, so that is there for student use. They get free laundry. We are shifting into our dining area right now, which is another communal space. Um, prior to COVID times, we, we did do shared uh, dinners together that were prepared by students, as I mentioned. And um, this is where those, those gatherings occur. Um, we also have a communication board near our dining area, which um, provides a space for um, communication and uh, event postings that might be happening in the Burlington area or on campus at UVM. There's also some things like daily kitchen rotation uh, for cleaning and chores and so forth. Um, and then shifting into this area, this is our kind of student lounge. Um, everything that we have here on the first floor is provided by the agency. Um, sometimes students will bring their DVDs and video games from, from home and share them with the group and have them down here, but this is kind of the most highly used area for social opportunities and um, also for studying, seeing as how they're all taking college level courses. And just beyond this room is more of a staffing area, a um, little bit closed off from the rest of the first floor. And basically this is used for one-on-one um, -on -one meetings with students. Um, there's a lot of check-ins throughout any given week just to um, help students with their schedules, see if they need support with classes. We also have, this has kind of become our unofficial art gallery of Succeed, and so this actually, for some reason we tend to have a lot of students who are animal lovers, and so this actually dates back to a number of years ago from when we had a, a young woman in the program that was really into cats, and so she started this kind of running gallery, and uh, ever since we've had a number of students add to it. They seem to have stayed within the dog and cat theme, but that's been kind of a nice piece um, that, that new and incoming students get to see and also add to.